Jill, I'm one of the team of enablers at Eureka. And like most of the country, I'm having to stay at home at the moment. But I have been using my time very constructively by training Bob. Who's Bob, you might ask? Bob is a pen lead. And I've actually trained Bob to dive. Just watch this. Come on, Bob. Don't let me down. Okay, Bob. Dive. Come on, right to the bottom. Well done, guy. And float back up to the top again. Now, shall we try the really difficult one where you float halfway down? Come on, Bob, you can do it. Off you go. That's it. Remember, stop. Stop when you get halfway. Stop when you get halfway. That's it. That's it. Have we done it? And up again. There you go. He didn't let me down. Now, <laughs> I can't really take credit for training a pen nib. It's actually all down to science. And something called density. Density is how heavy something is compared to the amount of space it takes up. If something's less dense than water, it floats. And if it's more dense, then it sinks. When Bob is floating, as he is now at the top of the bottle, his weight is made up of a pen lid, some blue tack, other sticky tacks are available, and a bubble of air inside the pen lid, which added together all weigh less than a bob-shaped amount of water. He's less dense, he's floating. But you may have noticed when I asked Bob to dive, I squeezed the bottle. Dive! Float! See, when I squeeze the bottle, I'm pushing water up into the pen lid. Dive! And that water squashes the air to the top. And when you add the weight of the water to everything else, that then makes Bob more dense than the water, so he sinks. You can control the amount of water you push into the lid by how hard you squeeze. And so you can get him with just the right amount of water in the lid to float in the middle. This takes a bit of practice though. And if you want to practice, if you want to make your own bob, it's very easy because all you need is an empty plastic bottle, fill it with water, a pen lid and some blue tack or similar. First of all, you have to make sure that you put some blue tack over the top because you need to block that hole in the top. Otherwise, the air bubble will escape and Bob will just sink straight to the bottom. Once you've done that, you need some on the bottom to make him weigh exactly the right amount so that he floats upright. This can be a bit tricky, so my tip is, when you're doing this, just use a glass of water to try it out. And then, when you've got it right, you can pop Bob in the bottle. And there you have it, your very own Bob the pen lid. Of course, you don't have to call your pen lid Bob, call it whatever you like. So, have a go and Make your own bob and let training begin. Dive and float. I hope you enjoyed my little bit of science there. And everybody stay safe at home. Keep smiling. Bye.